So let's get started without wasting time. So, oh, I got poll. Yeah, good, cool. <laughs> so, first of all, poll, are you a proud DMC member? You are not a DMC member yet. Um, you are currently participating in Malaysia. And I saw, tried a little bit, yeah, one of my gooder friends, yeah. Good, gooder, gooders, yeah. You are not English, right? Good, gooder, gooders, yeah. If you are from overseas, let me know because I actually invited her to join also, yeah. Or oh, girl, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't kepo, learn so much, huh? So most of you, most of you will be my proudly uh, DMC members. This is for you. And one or two of you will probably be my non-DMC member, but I give you a, a 10, huh? it's okay. Huh? And some of you are not from Malaysia. You are probably from overseas. All right, so that's one. That's it. Only from overseas. The rest of you, majority, should be DMC member here. Yeah, good, good, good. And for the four of you who are not a member, it's okay. You can join, and this is what we do on a regular basis. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Ned. Okay. Oh, Nadira. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Good. Email marketing lesson one. Email marketing generates the highest ROI. You know why the highest ROI? Because everything else requires time, requires money, requires effort to do lead generation. But once customers yeah, come to you, once customers come to you, email marketing, it is your database. If you nurture them properly, if you take care of your database well, uh, you can make the highest ROI. So that is very important in business, yeah? The highest ROI. And affiliate market, sorry, email marketing, it is definitely the highest ROI of all, yeah? So on average, your follow there, yeah? it's like somebody is burying a dead body outside my house. It's okay, like it's only a dead body, right? It doesn't matter. Okay, come on. Uh, email marketing average 4,300%. These are all statistics that I compile, 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 take from other people. I didn't come up with it. But for my personal businesses, definitely. Definitely, yeah. if you nurture the people well, if you nurture your customers well, they will follow you to the end of the days. And this is something that most businesses neglect, which I think that you shouldn't do it. That is why we, I want to teach you about email marketing. Yeah? All right. So based on statistics, $1, you get back $44. How they get the statistics, don't ask me. Like I said, I go and compile from everywhere. Yeah, we, and I think it's quite accurate in a way, but I've not done enough data to prove to you. But has generated a lot of ROI for my company? Definitely, definitely a lot. Huh? Oh, by the way, how do you think that you're here? Leh? I think most of you saw email blasts, isn't it? One email blast I did, and all of you are here. So that is how powerful email marketing is because if you are following, and if you like the person or like the businesses, you will still continue. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk a little bit about role of email, how to create emails, why we should use email, how to create optimizing the, the, the open clicks, yeah? The, the open rate, sorry, and with the clicks. Uh, tracking email deliverables, we will do tomorrow. So I will show you real life practicality tomorrow. Today, a lot of theories. Is it fair enough? So we split into two days here. Yeah? So this one here, eh, email can use for many, many things. Branding, traffic, engagement, direct sales, position, retention, reactivation, referral. This is how I communicate with you. You are my, you are, you are my member, you are my student, right? That is how I communicate with you. So it's very true that why I don't really like WhatsApp, personally. Why I don't really like social media, personally. Because social media, when I post something, blah, 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 it goes down very fast, correct? Right? WhatsApp, when I post something, blah, 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 the message goes down. And everybody says that they don't see. True. But when it comes to email, it's good because once I send it, whether you read it later, today or tomorrow, it is still in your inbox. It will not go anywhere. So that is amazing. That's very powerful. And I like that because email marketing, it is still one of the first digital marketing strategy. And I will think that no matter what happens, so email marketing will be good. Before I continue also, right? I can guarantee, I guarantee, I can confirm one. Huh? All of you have at least three emails. One for work. One for your, I would say, subscribing, personal, here, here, there, yeah? you subscribe one. Another one is a throwaway email. Throwaway email means that you want something from people, but you don't want to give your real email. So you cheat people, you give fake email. But you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't entertain this email. Another one of you will probably have, if let's say you have a mistress or a boyfriend outside your boyfriend, and you have another boyfriend or mistress, you have a fourth email. 
And this one, you change name. You know, you change name. So if your name is Charles, you probably use the name like Adam or John. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm speaking, right? Uh, you all know, eh? I know you know, I know you know, I know you know, yeah? All right, so email marketing is not just marketing. Uh, let's start with what is working, yeah? So we're gonna go into this. Um, you need to understand customer journey first, yeah? What is customer journey? So customer journey, I always teach you. Every time I teach you the fundamental of digital marketing is to understand the customer journey. Is to bring them from point A to point B. And every single time I always speak about this, point A, point B, point A, point B, point A, point B. You know, when, when you, you, you do a content, when you teach people something, when you do anything, you want them to take action, right? Whether to buy something, whether to register something, whether to sell something, whatever is it, when you, when you convey a message, um, there's usually an action to be done, correct or not, at the end of it. So, like, like for example, my wife said, Charles, go and bathe. So I bathe low. Charles, pick up your clothes. So I pick up my clothes low. Charles, um, cook. Uh, I don't cook, yeah. So anyway, this is what I want to tell you, communication, right? So on email also, it's the same thing. So what we have, what we have, it is, most people make the biggest mistake, which I'll cover that more in depth later, one email for everybody. One message for everybody. Cannot, ma. If I talk to three different people, if I talk to three different girls today, do you think I can use the same message to all of them? They're not, ma. Their message must be customized to them. Correct or not? So this is something that, you know, in a light-hearted, I teach you, but in businesses, people tend to be either lazy or probably don't know. I hope you don't know. But we cannot be lazy. You know why? Because one message cannot be everybody. So what is your first message? Awareness. If you want them to buy something, make sure you have the conversion email. If you want them to have advocate, you want to add value, that what I'm adding to you, values to that, advocacy email. So it has to be depending and not one email for everybody. So there's a lot of tracking, there's a lot of um, compilation that you need to do depending on your customer journey. So again, like I said, the role of email marketing, any, any marketing or so, is to move one customer from one stage to another. So that, that's the fundamental of um, communication on the internet. Because if you don't do that, then you want one message for all, it is wrong. Yeah, I know, I know you say, Charles, what about the movie? The movie, yeah? the law of the rings, one ring to rule all, correct or not? What happened at the end of the day? All died, isn't it? Hmm? You watch Law of the Rings, isn't it? For those who don't know what's Law of the Ring, go and watch that movie. It's one of the best movies in the world. Yeah? yeah. And end of the day, almost all died. But that's not the thing I want to teach you today. I'm teaching you about email marketing. All right. So let's go. So before I get an understanding from you, huh? you don't think because it's important, then you come to know. Based on you, 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 huh? what do you think? Is it email is important or not important or fairly important or very important or you're not sure? Can I just get a feedback so I know your level of uh, email? Uh, let me just put a poll there. Uh, uh, hold on there. Yeah. Let me just put this poll for you. Uh, launch it. Oh. Nah, you help me a little bit? Is it very important, fairly important, or maybe not important for you? Oh, you're not sure. Maybe some of you mm, don't know how to use, yeah? Hmm. Oh, Karen say, can change picture. Now more handsome. Ruby, four emails. Adrian, agree. Yeah, very important. Yeah, correct, correct. So, huh? so fast the poke. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, it is fine, yeah? Um, yeah, so most of you say it's very important. Um, about 15% of you say that I'm not sure. It's okay. And generally, fairly to very important, huh? Okay, okay. So let's go on. Let's teach you how to use email so that you can use email, yeah? All right. Okay, so understanding customer journey, this is what we've learned in the um, in the MC, so I'm not going to go into much detail, but basically, I will teach you and guide you the types of emails, yeah? For example, transactional, relational, promotional. So different, different emails have different things, for example, right? Um, it is okay to sell. Do you know that? Do you know that? It's okay to sell. Because most people, especially business, yeah, they think that, uh, oh, yeah, I shouldn't sell. I should just do webinars. I should do content and then no call to action, which is a lot of people do that yeah, because they feel wrong to sell. Actually, it's wrong. It's a very wrong mindset. If you can help people in their customer journey to do A to B, you should sell. You know why? Because you're helping people. Unless you're promising something that cannot be done, or you're delivering something that's, you know, like a stink oil kind of thing, 
then you should be ashamed of yourself. But if you are really adding value to people, do sell because people need help and people are actually willing to pay to shorten the path of their problem. Do you realize that? So that is where it's very important and you can use email marketing for that. Yeah? For example, transactional emails can be like um, order confirmation, purchase receipts, shipping notification, return confirmation, support tickets, password reminder, unsubscribe information. It's always dealing with um, transactional. So there's, a, there's an action to it. So what do you do? Okay, what do you use for that? Yeah? So for example, people as simple as uh, register for uh, account. Give them confirmation. Because if you don't give them confirmation, communication breaks down. For example, when people buy something anywhere, give them a receipt or give them an invoice or whatever, just to give people confirmation. Because if you don't do that, people are hard to track and also don't know. Yeah? So it is good to always give that for email marketing. Yeah? So for example, uh, HubSpot, HubSpot say this, companies use emails to nurture leads. Good. I also use that to nurture leads. But there's also something called rational emails, like what I just done, a poll. Correct or not? A survey, a poll, and I just ask from real life data. So if I don't communicate with you now, I can also send an email and also you will reply me. So you can see how uh, emails works. You can also do new subscribers welcoming. You can uh, follow up like in my in, in our training, right? Uh, during before class, I always give you videos, I mean emails, what videos to watch. And then after that, I give you follow up. After that, I will remind you. So I've used email in a way, if you think how DMC uses it, uh, it is very, very targeted to you. And we have created a series of email to always make sure that we are always there with you using email. So that is important. I know, I know some of you say, no, no, I, I don't like, I don't like email. I don't read email. People don't open email anymore. The new generation don't use email. I think that's a nonsense of crap. Lah, huh? Everybody use email, even for business. How can you, you your boss ask you, yeah? Uh, Charles, can you do something and, and through WhatsApp? And then no confirmation. And then after that, you want to confirm things, you have to scroll, yeah? you scroll your WhatsApp. It doesn't work. Email is the, still the, the, the best you know, way to do things. Yeah? So, now, yeah, statistics again. There are marketing association. 6%, is it 6%? 66% of consumers purchase something through email. Took action to the results of email marketing. I always sell on the internet. Maybe not to y'all, but um, on the internet to my other subscribers, I do sell all the time. And it's beautiful, even without talking to them, even this is lower ticket item, lah, around 200 ringgit and below. Yeah? I don't talk to them, I don't communicate with them, I don't have to face to face to them, and people will just buy because they like something from you. So do you have that in your business system? So if you don't, think about it, yeah? All right, also, also you have to think that there's a um, email decay, yeah? There's a term called email decay, you go back uh, after this, you Google it. Email decay means your list, your email list will die off. So a lot of people say, oh, Charles, my email list got 10,000 people. So it is not about how big your list. Yeah? It is not about the size. Always remember that. It's always about how many people respond to you and take action after they respond to you. That's important. A lot of people like to play the numbers game. I don't know what are they compensating. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know what they're compensating. Uh. Charles on my Facebook got 20,000 people or so. So, uh, my, 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 uh, whatever. The only thing in life that you should compensate and feel proud is your bank account. That's it. Email list, uh, subscriber list, uh, all that, mm, just data. The only thing that you want to talk big is your bank account. But even if you have a big bank account, why talk big, right? So, at the end of the day, numbers is not important in here. But there's something called decay list where actually every month I would say your email list will die off. People will unsubscribe. People will not get interested in you. People will have a new relationship with your competitor if you didn't follow up through. So it's very important, yeah? And I'll teach you all this today. So again, promotional email types, yeah? Content, new leads, sales announcements, new product, webinar announcements, event announcements, trial offers. You want to upgrade. You can use so many techniques for emails. Yeah, so many techniques for emails. Yeah. Um, so is it important just to just sell to give people what they want? Or I'm just ask you as a as an Asian, yeah. Or is it important to also build relationship? Come, answer me now. When doing business, is it important to give people what they want directly? Or is it important to build relationship before you buy? Which one do you think is 
more correct to us Asian? Can you just type for me the answer, please? Hello? Important to build relationship? Build relationship? Build? Yes? Relationship? I'm waiting for you. Huh? All of you build relationship, is it? None of you say just sell, give people what they want and get lost? Sell? Give what they want? Both? Ooh, so one person say both. Most of you say relationship, yeah? Now, it all depends on the context. Context, yeah? If, let's say, you're doing a business and you're selling curry pub, of course, uh, the, the fellow will come to your price and then say that how much? Three ringgit for one? Uh, three for three ringgit or whatever is it? People just buy and they go. And of course, you can be a relationship to nurture that for them to come back. Can. But um, even if they don't buy from you, they just, you know, pass by, they buy. It all depends on the context of your business nature. So why in DMC we build relationship is because people do buy back or do training for me many, many times uh, over the period of years. So that is, is very important. But if let's say you are a, I don't know how to put this. Uh, it's based on the content and the context. Uh, if let's say you are a business like Shopify or Lazada or e-commerce, uh, people, when they choose to buy from me the first time, there's no need relationship on. They just buy because of price or because of whatever, right? You know? But if you choose, listen, uh, if you choose to be a relationship after they purchase from you, your business will go definitely go up. Mm, but most people, they don't because they, they feel that it's not important or they don't care. Yeah, remember remember when I, when I told you this, if I will repeat this again. Most businesses yeah, know about how well their product is, how many stocks they have, how many inventories they have, but most businesses don't even know who buys from them, which is mind-blowing. And being a consultant, when I talk to big companies also, it is totally mind-blowing. You know, some of you here that is listening, hey, Charles, you say correct. Huh? I know my stock, I know my inventory so well, but I don't know my customers so well. Hmm. Think about it. Yeah, Think about it. All right. Of course, lah, huh? it's very important. So again, transactional must have customer service brand awareness, lead generation, retention, engagement, sale. People hate you or don't like you when you just focus on the sales. But if you're doing all this, people like you. And I always say, people love to buy. People love to shop. People just don't like to be sold. But if it's a friend to friend or it's a good recommendation, hey, I watched that movie, it was so cool. What movie is that? Um, um, Jurassic Park. Oh, is it? Got dinosaurs, is it? Okay, I'm going to watch. Huh, word of mouth marketing, so powerful, correct or not? Email marketing can be as powerful as word of mouth marketing only when you have done the first behind steps of properly, the relationship building. Does that make sense? All right, okay, I will go into more details, yeah? Two kinds of emails that you can send, broadcast and trigger. Okay, I have to go a little bit faster now because it's 30 seconds one slide. Broadcast versus triggered. So what kind of uh, broadcast email? Broadcast email means one button, you pump everybody. Like what I did to you lah. One button, I pump to everybody in my DMC list. You want to attend or not? I'm doing masterclass. You want to attend, you can. If you're busy, if you're working, you're not interested, it's okay. So that's a broadcast to my entire database. I do that all the time. I have a database I keep, I broadcast, correct or not? So this is good, promotional. Everything else should be triggered by specific action or behavior. So for example, if there's a new group of customer coming in, for example, old group of customer coming in, for example, not yet customer, just interested, uh, this one all has to be triggered. Broadcast, listen, eh? broadcast is only to your entire database for promotions or newsletter. What I just did for y'all, promotion. I have a masterclass coming. Do you want to join? Sorry, Come. I'm still not sure about that. Sorry, yeah, my Siri just talked to me. Anyway. It's forgotten. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Okay, so any other things is you have to trigger them. You have to bring them from one stage to another stage to another stage. Meaning, if people just opt in, you know what's opt in? To your database. You need to have a relationship building before you can start selling to them. If people already buy from you, you need to trigger them to make sure that they advocate you. Meaning, they will be so happy to promote you. They'll be so happy to be your fan. They'll be so happy to, to market for you. So everything else should be triggered. Does it make sense? From the customer journey. But if I want to promote something to all my existing database, just blast out. It's okay. So there's a mix to it. Yeah. So triggered emails, this time I said, can be new subscribers welcome. So ask yourself, 
when new people um, engagement, like when you go to school before, remember when you go to school before, especially in college, uh, we call it um, orientation. Uh, in Malay, we call it ragging, where we get whack and we get bullied, correct or not. When we go to universities, usually we have uh, the, you know, the welcoming process where people just, you know, take you around or when you get your first job. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That uh, the, 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 the HR or the manager will bring you along, introduce you to people, tell you where to sit, tell you what to eat, tell you what not to eat. You understand that? So why on the internet we don't do that? Think about it. So new people come in, what do you do? Think the first time you join my class as my DMC student. What's the first thing we do? We welcome you. Of course, we send you the invoice first. Lah, huh? After that, we welcome you. And then we inform you, upcoming class. And then after that, we, we ask for feedback. Yeah? Just imagine how we do things. Yeah? You just follow that, it's good enough. After what we do, after we follow that, new class, we remind you some more. Then we remind you some more. We remind you some more. And then you come. But you know, sometimes, listen, huh? even as DMC, I just tell you as a, as a you know, because we are communicating, right? Even, uh, I tell them so many times on email, uh, some people like to pretend, uh, maybe you, uh, it's okay, uh, even you also, it's okay, because you're my ex-student. Uh, some of you like to pretend and say, Charles, I didn't receive your email. Charles, I didn't see that you sent email. But actually, we sent already. You know, some of you, now you probably laugh, uh, during that time when you first joined me, who uh, want to fight like that, like, 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 you never tell me, you never receive it. Now you all can joke, you all can smile, but if you're one of that, just imagine, yeah, we are doing our best as a company. I'm telling our company side, so you also learn, because you also going to do that. All right, no? So all these things, always remember this. End of the day, you can do, but make sure that your customer also open. But there's also a technique to receive customers openly. Yeah? So all these things, target them, uh, trigger emails. So, building your email list. Um, how many of you think that is correct? Everything in email must start with an uh, email list. Anyone? Sorry, my cat attacking me. Eh? You answer me yes or no? We will start email list, correct or not? Just give me a minute. Eh? Yes or no? So most of you will say, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. No, yes, no, yes. Okay. I think if you pay attention to me just now, it is not in the list at all. Yeah, remember, remember that I said, not just now, the only thing that you should measure is your bank account. Because a lot of people like to say, my Facebook also got very, a lot of followers. My WhatsApp also got so many people in my group. My Telegram, who are you? 300,000 people, who are you? Amazing, amazing. I respect these people. But, but, so, you know, you know, so. Your number one priority as a business owner is to determine how much money you can make from one customer. That's it. Because end of the day, end of the day, as a businessman, your priority is to make money. I know it sounds, and don't take me out of context. I'm, I treat all my members very well. I treat my members amazingly well. And I give so much value to them. But end of the day, I'm a businessman. I also need to make money. You understand? I'm not doing a charity. I hope you understand the context. Yeah? It's just not that uh, my priority is making money to you. But in my business, yes. You have to understand that. Yeah? So how do you do that? So you have to understand that when people love to buy, people love to shop. Whether they buy from you or they buy from other people, that's the problem. But people still need to spend money on. I believe every time you give people money, even if I give you money, the first thing you're going to do is spend. Please be honest with me. Yeah, yeah, some of you will say, yeah, I'll give to charity. Cool, true, 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 true. I will give to savings. True, I agree with you. But most of us, deep down our heart, the first thing that we'll do is spend. Win form, spend, because that's what human nature is. Spend. But then again, ask you the second question, the follow-up question. When you spend, you spend on who? People you like or people that you don't like or something that you need or something that you want? So that is the follow-up question. So you need to understand this. When you use email, you transcribe people, you transcend people from don't know who you are to a follower who's amazing. They'll continue spending on you. Yeah? And that's the problem. Do you nurture or not? My next question, do you nurture your lease to that stage? Or you don't really care? You just say that, ah, who wants to buy, buy. You don't want to buy, it's okay. That's why you're telling. That's why you don't nurture. Yeah, I'll talk about this in a very short while, more detail. But just give you a, things for you to think of. Yeah? And do you have a calendar? 
or you send email as you like. My rule in DMC, I will use the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 I will content, 20% I sell. So it's good. It's a good balance. 80% content, 20% you sell. And you know how I sell things? I give so much value to people like you. And if I just say that hey, this is a paid thing, if you think that you want to join, do join. If you don't want, it's fine. We never force you. We never take a knife and you know, you sign up or not. No, we don't do that. And after as a member, we give you value. So whatever that we are doing is actually learn. And just learn how the MC do. Because then you realize that you can also do it for your business. Why not, right? Because it works, yeah? So, winning calendar, you need to ask yourself, now, nah, ask this. Ask yourself what kind of, um, how do I say this, newsletter, email, do they like? So a lot of people will say, oh, plain text is the best. No, 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 the graphic is the best. No, 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 you need to put like uh, a lot of videos in the email to be best. How will I know? How will you know? Nobody knows. The only person that knows is your customer because you're building a relationship with your customer. If today your customer like videos, give them videos. If today your customer like plain text, give them plain text because at the end of the day, it's not about how big your list. It is about how you communicate with your list, how you add value to your list. I think that's the most important because at the end of the day, when you do all this, communicate, add value, you also can sell. Does that make sense to you? Because you have to have a balance here. Yeah? You have to have a balance, all right? So, I want to teach you types of campaigns of emails. Very important. Very, very important types of uh, campaigns, yeah? Indo indoctrination, engagement, ascension, segmentation, and re-engagement. What do I mean by this? For example, um, people who just know you, people who just opt in. I have a very golden rule in anything I do. Everything that I do, I collect database. I collect leads. You know why? Because then I indoctrinate them. So for example, you, I don't have to follow up with you because all of you, most of you are my members. For those who are not my members, or for those who are new, or just want to know a little bit more about DMC, this is what I do, okay? I indoctrinate them, I give them value, and I teach them. Uh, so you need to immediately send out. So tomorrow, I'll teach you how to immediately send out automation. Uh, not today, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will go to the, the real physical email. I have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful girl that's going to help me, and she will show you how to do all this automation and set up using the email system. So today, you just learn the theory, you take your notes, you write down. If you don't have papers or pen, tattoo yourself, put it in your, you know, everywhere you walk, and then you can, you can see that. Eh? Ascension is what? Okay? Ascension is to turn ordinary buyers into multi buyers. People will keep buying from you, people will be spending on you, people will still recycle on you. It's just whether they recycle on you or they recycle on somebody else only. So might as well. I recycle, I mean, I want my customers to recycle their money on me. Ask yourself this. Uh, if I ask you a few questions, you understand, yeah? Uh, you answer me this, yeah? What is your favorite chocolate drink? Uh -huh. Tell me your brand. What is your favorite chocolate drink? You know what's chocolate drink, right? Ah, okay, come. Tell me what's your favorite chocolate drink. Milo, Milo, Milo. Some will say Milo, some will say Milo. Some will say Hershey's, hmm. Hmm. Fun Leaf, Farm Bears, Ovaltine. Ovaltine still exists, yeah? I don't know. Hershey's, Milo, Milo. Okay, it doesn't matter your brand. It doesn't matter your brand. Now, let me ask you the second question, the follow-up question. Why do you keep buying the same brand? Tasty? Trust? Correct or not? So, you see, certain products, certain brands, no need indoctrination, no need ascension because you're already familiar with the brand. You know why? Because it's easily available, the branding is there. Now, let's say me, my business with you. Do I advertise on newspaper? Do I advertise on TV? Do I advertise on television? Remember I said a DK rate? So people will forget. So people will forget. So when people forget, how do you keep in touch with them? WhatsApp, sometimes, you know, you have to, you know, it gets irritating, right? Forwarded message everywhere. But you can set up a proper email system that the whole year calendar, and you just send out one-time work, tomorrow I'll show you, one-time work, but the whole year, you don't have to do anything anymore. So that is beautiful in email system, and most people don't know how to set it up, or don't know there's such thing that you can actually do, okay? Um, segmentation campaign, people who, of course, of course, huh, I have to tell you that all customers are not equal. Some customers are, Fanatics of DMC. You love DMC. No matter what, also you join one. Thank you. Some customers, 
um, they sign up once, thank you very much, they go away. It's okay. Some customers, um, they are not fanatic, they are not very cold, they're the medium. They'll support, they will join, but when they are free. Do you understand? So different, different segment of campaigns, some are new customers, some are not yet customers, you have to give a different message. So that is what we call segmentation of your email list. Because if your email list has only one email forward to everybody, it is wrong. Because again, different people need to be customized differently. Uh, most of us got kids, isn't it? Yeah, most of us got kids. How you deal with your own kid, even got three kids or two kids or four kids or five kids, it's the same. You cannot want communication or receive the same one. Different way of communicating. So in email, it's the same old thing. That's why I'm trying to relate to real life example. Yeah? Engagement. Engagement is people who are your customers or might not be your customers, but after that, they just don't want to have a relationship with you because probably they don't like you or probably they don't uh, want to follow up with you or probably whatever reason they have forgotten you. So what you can do is re-engagement campaign. Add value. I'm a businessman. Do you think that everybody loves me? No. I have 2,500 students. I know. All by name, all by database. But do you think all of them like love me? No. Some of them probably hate me by now. But it's okay. Because in business, it's always the 80-20 rule, 90-10 rule. So in business, it's always focusing on people, segmentation them, and engagement them. So that is why email. So I'll teach you all this as we go along. Yeah? This is just for you to theory first. So come. Yeah. Again, indoctrination. Tell them what to do. Now, this is where most people do. They collect database. After that, they don't know what to do. Listen, eh? they collect database, can, can, can. they put a form, they put a form on a website, they have a contact form in a website or whatever, lah, or their Facebook or whatever. After that, the, 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 the leads come in already, they don't know what to do. And most Malaysians do this, most Malaysians do this, yeah? The leads come in, isn't it? They'll pick up the phone. Hello, Abeng, ah? you want to join my course? Ah? Huh, Abeng? Huh? Yes, ah? huh? tomorrow? Ah? Okay, okay. So tomorrow, most of you will write down a note somewhere. Lah. If you are doing follow-up, all good. If the fellow said tomorrow and you call tomorrow, I'm quite amazed at uh, Malaysian's attitude uh, on business. Uh. So, uh, Abeng, uh, to yesterday you asked me to call you today. Uh. Uh, you want to sign up? Uh? Don't want? Uh? Don't want? Uh? Oh, okay, lah. okay, thank you. Uh, finish. So that is how Malaysians do business, correct or not? I mean, if you are a business or you experience people who do business, that's what they do, right? They only follow up you one time and after that, never follow up anymore. Uh, I do understand why because it's hard. But if you have an email system, you can follow up. Uh, this is my rule, I tell you, DMC. Yeah? Follow up with people until they get so fed up of you and they say, Stop emailing me. Right. You know why? Because I believe in this. When people opt in to my business, it is my duty, it's my right as a business to follow up with you until you say, Don't want. Because people are busy today. People, you think, they, they think, the DMC is the number one priority, man. Oh, I hope lah. You also know, man. It's not number one priority. You, you put DMC probably at priority number 10. So when I follow up again and again and again and again and again and again and again seven times, most people will say, I take action. Most people will say, I'm not interested. It's okay. But you did your part. That's important. So you use email to do that. So you need to understand all these things. And that's the basic Fundamental when you collect leads, you know. Because if you collect leads and all your database is there, again, nah, short scenario, eh? um, got one or two or not from Malaysia, you don't want to like self-praise and say, oh, my database is 2,000 people. So, it's not that. It's not that at all. Yeah? It's your engagement. Yeah? So, what do you do? Welcome, lah. In, you know, onboarding. Yeah? Welcome them. Reinstate them. I'm going to add value to you. Tell them what to expect. This is what you're going to get. Tell them what to do next. Join my Facebook group. Oh, join my academy group. So on. Huh? Most of you, correct? You know, when I ask you to join my academy group, my, my, my Facebook group, I have to tell at least seven times. And some people, I tell seven times to say, Huh? Charles, DMC or DMC academy group? Ah? Hey, by the way, ah, all of you join my DMC academy group already, not? I mean, if you're a member, lah, not member, don't, don't answer. If you're a member, this. Have you joined or not? If you watch the recording in the future, I'm going to ask you the same question. If you are a member of the MC, have not joined the academic group, let me know. Because some people after years here, yeah, <laughs> they still don't know the MC academic group. 
they are busy. It's, it's not, it's, it's, they are busy. Yeah? It's just not a priority for them, that's all. Okay, so anyway, uh, encourage whitelisting. Whitelisting means so that email don't go to spam. So tell them, uh, whitelist my email. Uh, put my email as a star, whatever. You know, you have to tell action. We do that on YouTube. We do that on Facebook. Uh, if you like my video, subscribe. We do that everywhere. But on email, we don't do that. You need to tell people because people on the internet needs to be told to take action. Okay? So uh, I keep showing you this. I keep showing you this because your email is where? Number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Must have an action from three to four or three to five or one to two or seven to eight. Do you understand or not? So that is why I keep showing you this again and again and again. So you've learned this on the first day of, um, what do you call that? Or oh, the customer persona, all right or not? So customer persona is very important. If you've forgotten about what I've taught you, go back on the Internet Academy, go back and watch the first video because now this and that will relate together. Yeah, so sample campaign, welcome. So give value, give value, you know? First time also can sell. Why? Because when people opt in already, this is a mind, huh? school of thoughts. Huh? When people are interested in buying from you, don't say like, ah, you don't know me, is it? Come, let me tell you how I started my business. My grandfather started this business and I'm building a relationship, right? Because most of you say must build a relationship, right? Contact strong, huh? People are interested to buy from you, they opt in to your email or they inquire, but you don't sell yet. You say, ah, my grandfather built his business 20 years ago, we did this, we did that. That fellow will probably get out and go and buy from somebody else. Correct or not? You understand or not? Now, let me just relate this to DMC members, yeah? You understand, yeah? Have you watched my Psychology of Content Marketing? It's a video that is a masterclass that I did also uh, inside my academy group. Have you watched that? And I talk about the benefits of copywriting and the features of copywriting. So sometimes when people are interested to buy already, sell them straight away. Don't build a relationship, waste time here. You build a relationship after the sales is made, not before. Some people don't know you, you need awareness stage to build a relationship, then you use this. So you must always understand when I teach you things, relate to everything that I've guided you. Because it's a storyboarding, it's a, it's a, it's a whole business flow. Because I like to teach business and I like to teach digital marketing skills sets also. You guys understand the context, not just the content of what I'm teaching you, yeah? All right, so good. Uh, yeah, this one, so many things. Lah. You just follow email from DMC, good enough. Lah. Reverse engineer, I give you permission to reverse engineer whatever email that I did from you. You go back from the first email before you come to my student, as my student, during my student, after my student, you go and compile. You just go to DMC, yeah? you compile, you will probably see about 50 emails already. Ah, you see, all that I've used, I'm teaching you now. Same thing, yeah, same thing. So this is another to convert subscribers into sales, conversion, yeah, to tell them what to do. So for example, you can sell. It's okay to sell. The sales page supposed to sell so that you get money. Again, customer journey, yeah. So what do you sell? Okay, for example, she show you. So this is uh, by Digital Lab, uh, amazing, I took it from them. So this is the guy who want to talk to the girl, in rock, take the girl, uh, want to build relationship with the girl. So you say, hey, so glad you called, I was just thinking about you. So if the customer likes you, good. But if the customer said, uh, why you email me, eh? why you spam me, eh? gone already. Do you understand my concept? Sometimes, yeah, on, on everywhere, you must, how do I say this? Make sure that the customers know you first. I give you one great example on my phone. Uh, uh, I know you don't know this, but it's okay. Like, I just tell stories. Yeah, on my phone, one person called me, and the first statement that first said after hello, do you know who am I? In a nice tone, in a nice tone, not not fighting. Ah, uh, not fighting. Ah, uh, in a nice tone. Do you know who am I? You know because in you know, a WhatsApp they got my number, right? You know? so they assume that I actually saved their number. So then, of course, when people say like that, you cannot say no, ma. Um, then I change topic, lor. Um, yeah, how are you? You know, have to my own business. Um, have you heard of my company X Y Z? Wow, first time you ask, I give you face. Second time, I'm sorry. Who are you? You you get it or not? Sometimes we need to do that, and to remind people because who you think you are. So when you go and send people email, even though I listen, uh, even though people subscribe to you, you need to. Make sure that you have courtesy on the email. You don't have to like 
uh, as you know that we are very big in the company and we're going to offer you this. It's going to be very difficult if you do not know your subscribers very well and what they're interested in. Yeah? You have to make sure that you know who you are, your level, your subscriber level, and then always the same basic thing, what action do you want them to take? Because every email that you send out must have an action. Must have an action. If you want to add value, go ahead. If you want them to buy something, go ahead. If you want them to join your Facebook, go ahead. If you want them to watch the video, go ahead. But why do you send email without a focus point? What's the next step that you want them to take? Do you think that the customer got so much time to read your email and to build relationship with you? Uh? Context again, yeah? Yes, you can build relationship by taking actions. But what are the actions that you want to take? It's important. So you need to ask yourself this because then you have a strategy, then you have the plan. So ask yourself this again. If you want them to take the action, will they take the action? Because what you ask doesn't mean that they will listen or not. But have you built that relationship or not? For example, very simple, in, in, in life, if, if you uh, go to a stranger and you ask them any question and say that, hey, can you go and buy me a drink? Uh? Therefore, probably will first walk away, correct? Not the stranger will walk away. Because the friend don't know you at all. But if you ask a friend, hey, can you help me uh, buy a drink? Sure. And if you're very close to the person, and you can just say this, hey, can you buy me a drink? No problem. But you see, in email, it's the same thing. If you know your relationship with your customer is very close, like I know you're quite close to me now, so I can talk in a way that is a little bit more friendly tone, a more conversational tone to you or with you. You understand? So the email also is the same thing. So learn how to understand, learn how to nurture people from one stage, and then learn how to communicate in that language. Because you cannot go and do one email for everybody, especially when people don't know you yet. And you think, oi, hello, bro, dear bro, Girl is what? Uh? Sis. Uh. Dear sis, I know you're interested in me. That is why you opt into my email. Now, these are my packages for you. Who are uh, you? think who you are. Cannot let that one. Uh, based on content and context. Yeah? So, warning. Does it hurt to ask? Yes. So, if you ask too much for too soon, it will damage your relationship. You, you think with me. Uh? People like to say this. Um, okay, I'll give you this example. You answer me. Uh, huh? If you ask yourself too much too soon, it can damage your relationship. For example, can you go and ask somebody like this? Can you just go to a girl or a guy that you don't know and say, I want to have babies with you? Can it not? Can it not? Babies with you means I want to make a sale with you. Lah. I want to buy something from me. Lah. I want to, in the context of business, I want to sell something to you. Can you just do that to a new stranger? Can it not? Listen, ah. Uh, I say I have babies, I didn't say I have sex, huh? because some guys will go, oh, I have sex, I can Just go and ask anything. I know you will say like that one, but I use the word babies. Hmm? Um, can I not? You cannot slap, isn't it? You, you, you get it, you probably cannot slap, someone will even kena. You go and ask, huh? go ask any girl, any guy. Girls can okay. go and ask guys, it's okay. You go on Facebook now, you go on Facebook now, if you dare, if you dare, if you dare, you just get a post. Who wants to have a baby with me? You dare not? People will think you cheese. You know cheese is like gila. Sami velu. You need kerja semua orang sudah gila. He will say like that. Right? Sami velu. You know Sami velu, my, my old friend. Uh, my, he will say things like, semua orang sudah gila. You need kerja semua orang sudah gila. So this is also gila. But when it comes to business, do you think it's gila? Eh? Because people sometimes just, first statement they say, don't know anybody. Do you want to buy from me? In email. Cannot, ma. So the same thing. I'm teaching you. Yeah? So, first thing, your email. Oh, I should cover the, the name, but I didn't. And it's recorded. It's okay. Learning purposes. Yeah? I have nothing against Help University. Uh, it's just learning purposes. Um, two school of thoughts. I do understand why they do this. Let me just explain to you. If your business, you want to eliminate a lot of people and you only want to focus on people who really wants to buy from you, then you ask more questions, it's okay. Because you eliminate, 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 eliminate. But usually I would think as a professional, don't do that too much. You can eliminate at the second stage, not at the first stage. If you're creating awareness in the first stage, just call it first name, last name. You understand why? Because too much info. Go slow in the first stage. 
But then again, in this context, I don't understand. Uh, this is what help university um, uh, request free information. So if it's free information, I don't think that you want to give so much detail. Slowly, add value, just a call, a phone, and then just get data, it's okay. But when you do too many things and then people, what will happen? You, you answer me. I need to tell you one, you answer me. When you see people first date, first time don't know you, but maybe you want something from them, but you see this so long form, will you be excited to fill up? Yes or no? Anybody? Yes. And you know, most people feel, huh? You want my information. Uh. You want my IC. Uh. You want my phone number. Uh. Who the heck you think you are? Leh? So, but it's very sad. <laughs> but it's very sad to do like customers always do that. So don't, don't do that. I mean, you collect, make sure, because I'm talking to you as a business here. Yeah? I know some of you don't have business yet, but in the future, make sure you don't do all this here. Yeah? So, if you want to have babies, what's the first thing you must do? I'm very old school. You cannot go and pop, pop, pop babies everywhere. If you want to have a baby, you must marry the person. Can I not? Can I say that or not? So when you marry the person, there's a nurturing campaign. Uh, so in relationship also, it's like that. Uh. First, uh, you like a girl. I talk about boys to girl. Uh. You understand? Uh? Girl to guy, you, you, you imagine. Uh. So if you like the girl, what's the first thing we do? We go ask, hey, what's your name? We don't ask the girl, hey, give me your IC. Uh, where you live, uh, uh, what's your education level? Uh? It doesn't work correct or not. Same thing, business and relationship, very, very the same one. Uh. One day, one day, uh, I will do a book and things like business and sex is the same. Wow, people buy my book, isn't it? Sure. So it, it's a nurturing program, yeah, nurturing. So when you nurture, so you start slowly, lah. give value to people. Hey, do you get your report? Um, then you add value to people. In, in the topic that is niche, you give people, give first. Then how can I help you? Wow, like a gentleman, yeah, you know? Uh, then after that, give someone, uh, uh, you know, like, like typical guys, lah. yeah? When they go for a relationship with girls, yeah, you understand, eh? Remember not, girls, the first time how your man chase you? Relationship, the people say, eh? the most beautiful time in the relationship eh, is when the guy is chasing you. But after married, after the baby come out, huh, ask the husband, uh, hey, go and wash your plate. The fellow will say, tomorrow lah. Some husband will say, you do lah. You understand not? Same thing in business. Same thing in business. After the sale, ask for this, ask for that. No reply. Don't add value to people. Don't give free webinar to people. <laughs> Don't give things to people. After the sale, finish. And then next year, come back. Hey, do you want to buy again from me? Uh? You also will be fed up. Uh. You understand not? Business is the same thing. But in marriage, you cannot feel fed up. Uh, still, uh, for worse or better, uh, I'm old school. Uh. So, the same thing. So, after that, once people like you, once people trust you, then if you want to sell to people, go ahead. The relationship is built already. So, go ahead. Yeah? Campaign structure, go ahead. And this is what I do. You see, I, I do for my webinar, I show you behind the scenes. Yeah? Uh, when, you know, when I do business, I do the the, what you call it, the workshop preview, correct or not? Sometimes I sell things at the end, correct? Huh? So sometimes they, they register because they want to register. But when they don't attend, I'll give one email. Boom, one email goes up. After they don't attend, uh, automated, all this automated, yeah? So tomorrow we'll learn all these things on, on the system. So automated. So you say, that, is everything okay? Uh, why you didn't attend the webinar? Why you didn't attend the preview? Why you didn't attend the workshop? You say you're interested. You say you want to come, is everything okay? Wow. So the first feel that you're following up. And then after that, they have to want to enter. It's okay. Then I'll post another email. Huh? Yes, a few more times. If you want to join in June or July, um, my, my training program, my class is going to be full. Do you, do you still want or not? I give them one more email, of course. Uh. And then after that, I add value to them. Digital marketing. I'll give them more content. Uh, after that, I'll say that I got good news for you and bad news for you. And then after that, I add value to you. So I keep adding. So seven. Always seven. You know why seven? Because people say it's good. I also follow and I think it's good. So seven times, six times, pump, pump, pump. One time, call to action to purchase or to bring them to the next level. Hey, by the way, eh, not everybody that joins you want to go to the next level. Eh. Sometimes they join you, but after they see, 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 they also don't want. I'll talk about that in a short while. So that is what I call the follow-up structure. So, ascension, follow-up structure. Yeah? So you need to 
transform them into multi buyers. You need to transform them to build trust, authority, so they can recommend you. You need to transform your raving fan to a, sorry, your customer to a raving fan. Correct or not? So that is where most businesses lack today, especially in Malaysia, especially in Asia. Because the moment we get the customers, we stop adding value to people. And it's quite sad. It's quite sad, yeah? Of course, in DMC, I will do my best to give you as much value as I can. Hmm? Again, the whole thing, I keep emphasizing, emphasizing customer journey using email. So, always ask two questions for them. What's the next step I want them to take? And then are they ready to believe in the next step? If they are ready and you know they have done well, close. Same thing lah, when you ask your wife or your future, your ex-wife, sorry, ex-wife ah. no, no, no. When you're dating, correct or not? And then you got girlfriend first, isn't it? Correct or not? After girlfriend, what you do? Uh, you be relationship, you take her for dinner, you take her out for, you know, all this lah, business, you follow up, follow up. After that, you decide to get married, right? ask for the sales, isn't it? So you ask, will you be interested to be my wife? Uh, in, in business, of course, when you sell, will you be interested that, uh, that we take the next step to purchase? Is that okay? So you can ask this all. If, if you're very confident, or if you're very, very confident, you can just ask the girl like this. So where should we go for honeymoon? Eh? You want to go US or you want to go Seremban? You can do that. Yeah, you're very confident. Would you like to pay, sir, by uh, credit card, check, or cash? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because the relationship has been built already. Yeah, so you ask your girlfriend, would you like to have your honeymoon in uh, UK or Seremban? Of course, UK is uh, Ulu Klang. Huh? What, well, you think United Kingdom? Huh? Anyway, MCO, MCO, save money. So, you need to do this and, you know, you, you need to, after, after this, yeah. So a lot of people think that selling is wrong. Again, if you add value and value and continuous adding value, after you get married, you ask your wife, lah, or, hey, wife, lah, how many kids do you want? Ah, can, lah. same in business also. Hey, you purchased already, right? I got another program. Will you be interested? You don't force people. You don't manipulate people. You don't cheat people. But you ask people nicely. And if you have done very, very well, people will say, sure, I would love to buy from you. There we go. All right? So, I got what I want, you got what you want. So that's how we use email. We use email. And um, after you get the sales, of course, a little bit of business, make sure they get the full value. Yeah. Don't cheat them, don't manipulate people, and never take your customers for granted. Okay, never take your customers for granted. Of course, not everybody is perfect, I will also agree, uh, but put this in your business when you go. Email as a one level to next level to next level to next level because I very rarely see people use email like this. At the MC, we use it perfectly. We love emails, yeah. We love emails. What teach you this? So, give you some examples. I took it from the internet. Yeah. Add value, subject line, consumption, nurture them. Some consume, add value. Wow, you give me so much content. I'm good. I thank you. Some you nurture them. Yeah. So different different strategies. There you go. Add value, give you some examples. Nurture them, give you some examples. Add value to people. End of the day, depends on your nature of your business and what you want to do, all right? Um, this is our Facebook ads. Uh, give you more practical in our business. So when people see our advertisement, first thing they see, our Facebook, they click, correct or not, we collect database. Uh, then we give them value. Email. Um, what is Zervin thought? Our co-founder Zervin, right? What's our thought of Facebook ad? Open up. Yeah, we, we, we. Wow. Not bad, the MC quite smart. Uh. Uh, the real secret to write. Wow. Thank you, the uh, MC. Thank you. Uh. Facebook ads biggest challenge. Wow. Give some more. All the content, content, pop, 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 pop. And then give some more. Give some more. And then at the end of it, uh, hey, I think that you're like Facebook ads, right? Uh, would you like to join our workshop and to have more value? So during the workshop, usually my cost is a bit high. So what I do is I bring them to the workshop, I tell them, pop, 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 and then after that, I sell at the end. Must sell, because we're running a business, we're running a charity, sell at the end. But now you see, when they come in, they're already positive. They have a relationship with you already. Do you understand what I'm saying? Rather than then, first time they just come and then you start selling, cannot ma. So email is what I do. So it's called a nurturing campaign that we use. 
yeah um, might be this this program different from you so you might not join my facebook class before but the s is always the same so i want to give um i got half an hour more right could i want to give an announcement and i just want to take a short break for myself also keep yourself june 12 13 14 you I tell you uh, you can see right june 12 13 14 fsg freedom summit global is doing yeah this is an international conference this is an international summit we are bringing more than 40 speakers from more than 20 countries i would say more than 20 countries and we are coming together and it's free completely free for you three days live uh, not recorded uh, live. So book the dates. I just want to tell you that we're giving more value to you. 12, 12, 12. Excuse me. 12, 13, 14, live. Not a recording, live where you can engage with them. So for people who want to learn about independence, financial independence, for me, especially a business owner, you want to build a relationship with overseas market leaders, definitely this is the place you should come, yeah? So just book yourself first. Just got advertisement a little bit. I will continue after this and I will still take a short break. Are we okay so far? Wow, Lish Akuno is my friend. Uh, refresh your slide. Okay, done. Wow, I'm just reading whatever I'm reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, definitely, definitely, yeah. From the US, from the Germany, from Africa, uh, from... Um, um indonesia from thailand from philippines yeah uh this is done uh, with uh, my partner in philippines her name is celia celia is the ceo of freedom summit global and just to give you a sneak peek first because since you're attending my life book these dates uh this is a free event yeah free event definitely yeah and it's live huh, by the way all these people coming yeah three days non-stop People who are just giving value and value. I'm so excited. All right, all right. Okay, come, come back, come back. Eh? Come back. No more advertisement. Come back to my email marketing class. Okay, all right. So, um, some of you will say that, Charles, I don't have a business. Yeah, it's okay. If you use the same formula for promote other people's program, you know what's it called affiliate marketing? Yeah, affiliate marketing. So, sometimes when you lose money in the front to generate the leads, for example, I just give you a little bit bigger picture. Let's say you use email marketing or sorry, you use Facebook marketing. But when you close, you know, the lead generation, the follow-up, people don't buy. It's okay. But now you have database, correct or not? So database, and then you know what happens? You nurture using email. You nurture them, you nurture them, you nurture them. You can sell again. Because first of all, remember, when people are not interested in you, they will not even fill up the form. You must always remember that. And it's your duty to follow up, to nurture them once they are in your list. You understand what I'm trying to say? So always add value to people, always nurture them to do whatever. And after the customers, the same thing. Now, let me just give you a business strategy and you see whether you can think as a business or not. Um, there are times yeah, that I go to other people's lists, that means other people's lists here, yeah, because every company got their own email list, right? And I want that list. I want that list. You understand? I want that list. And I will tell company A, just bear with me, huh? I will tell this company A, who's my target market also. I don't want to sell to company A. I don't want to sell to company A. I want to sell to company's A database. Does it make sense to you? Make sense, huh? I want to sell to company A database. So what I do to company A, and I just say this. Hey, company A, let's call him Adam. Huh? A, huh? Adam. Adam, huh? I want to offer your customers. I want to offer your customers um, a free training that is worth 300 ringgit or 3000 ringgit whatever lah, for only one ringgit and i've never done this to anyone before which integrity you have to say properly but this cost is 2400 ringgit for example but because i want to give value to your member and i want to build a relationship with you adam this or your customer i only charge one ringgit what do you think adam will say wow Charles, so good are you okay lah, sure one ringgit only eh yeah, to my customer, huh? correct, huh? one ringgit, correct. So why did I do that? Can anyone think and tell me why did I 
build a relationship with Adam to give one ringgit to the existing customers here. And these are my target market. Why do I do that? Why do I do one ringgit? See whether you can think or not. Affiliate? No. Why did I throw my price? I lose a lot of money, which I can get potential. I can work with Adam and say that we earn half half. Adam will be fine, fine, fine with me. He will still work with me. But why I said I don't want anything, Adam. I just want to give you one ringgit for your students, for your customer. To build a relationship, mm, yes, with Adam, correct. To gain his database, correct, correct. Um, Yanling, you got it correctly, perfect. Kelly, yes, correct. I want Adam's customer to be in my list. But you know why I charge one ringgit? Because I want to eliminate the free loaders. You know what's free loaders? Free loaders are people who come to your preview, come to your workshop, ask, 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 but they will buy one. And they will do that for two years, three years, four years. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But you know what's a sad thing? Have they took action after they asked? No. They will come back after four years. I got people like this. After four years, they come back and say, Hey, Charles, uh, four years ago, you started this with Taxi. Now you grow so fast. Uh, what is your secret? Oh, yo, it's like, what secret on me? The, the, the secret to success is no secret. Uh, is to take action and follow up. And keep doing the same thing again and again and again by pivoting what is not working and focusing on what's working. That's the secret. There's no such thing as shortcut and things like that. So there are people like that. So why I charge a ringgit is simply because this customer of Adam is already good quality customers, paid customers. Do you understand? But why I still put one ringgit is to make sure that I know they are not freeloaders anymore because they paid for Adam. But I want them also to come to my head. So I get the right mindset people. Do you understand? I get the right mindset customers. I get the right mindset of people who wants, I want to build in my database. And that is where I don't mind losing in a way. Actually, if you think it's not losing, but I'm willing to invest in a way so in a long-term gain, I can nurture this customer to be my customers. So that's a beautiful strategy and it's so targeted. You know why? Because Facebook ads, you don't know, isn't it? I have to nurture, nurture, nurture so hard. Uh, uh, Google, expensive maybe. SEO, a little bit slow, yeah. But you want this fast immediately and you want these right-minded people to go and find similar business and work with them. That's how you do. It's a business strategy. Write it down. It's very, very powerful. It's damn powerful. And it doesn't cost you a lot of money if you implement this, yeah? Definitely, I give you the strategy. Okay. So, bonus for you. How to write effective sales letter of email? Nah, you use your phone and you scan. By the way, I've nothing to sell. I give you a disclaimer. I'm nothing to sell to you today. Today, I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm just going to add value to you. Nah, take, 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 take. Just take this for you. Uh, it's, there's a lot of uh, worksheet. You have to do a lot of writing, but it's good. You learn how to write then. Because after learning, you don't take action, also no use, correct? Nah, take. All done, eh? I continue, eh? The moment I share my slide, move, you cannot get this bonus or? <laughs> okay, lah. let me take a short 30 seconds break. Take, take, take. Okay, just take. Consume every information that has been given to you. <laughs> yes, sir. The secret of success is no secret. Correct. No. <laughs> None. Just take whatever information and work it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Um, again, yeah. Uh, relationship building. I've uh, really enjoyed. I want to introduce my parents. Sure, man. Yeah. So. Same thing, nurturing, yeah? one step at a time in the email. So that's what I'll teach you. So content, call to action, logic, fear. Hmm? Fear is a good motivation to buy. You buy today, you get the discount. I use that all the time. But I honor that, you know. Uh, some people say that uh, my program, right? You can, you can sign up tomorrow, can. But if you sign up today, you get this bonus, so you, you, you choose so. So people will choose one. So do you think that uh, after tomorrow, I will still back them and say that you get this bonus. Never. At DMC, yeah, when we say the next day, no more. No more already. 
the price also goes up one, and we sell expensive, and we do sell expensive actually. It's not expensive uh, because of the value that we give, right? But expensive in the terms of value, the uh, uh, costing. It does. It's, it's a little bit high. I I know, but that's why how we honor people. So when we say we give, we give. We don't say we sell, we don't sell. When we say that we give you bonus, we give. So that's the thing that you have to understand because when you get the right customers and the same mindset in your business, uh, it's very fun one. You add value to people, people take action, they're successful, add some more value, you know, people buy, people will give value, you know, it's a beautiful structure, yeah? I want, to, I want you to remember this. Okay, um, tomorrow I'll teach you how to segment in uh, your customer list. So today you learn that, oh, Charles said my segment, good. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to segment, yeah? I'll teach you how to broadcast also. So you write this all this down. So tomorrow, tomorrow you must ask all this question. Tomorrow, because tomorrow I'll show you live, yeah? And this is where you can ask, hey, yesterday you said how to segment. Yesterday you can say how to do follow up. Yesterday you say can do broadcast. You ask all this, I'll show you. And not after tomorrow, I also give you another big bonus after that. Who you? So again, are we good? Four types of promotion, activation, monetization, segmentation, wildcard. Yeah, so segmentation is to get people interested in you. Awareness stage, yeah, same thing. Lah. I, I keep repeating in different, different strategies, but it's actually the fundamental is always the same. Yeah, awareness, conversion, advocacy, three main things. So, learn how to do this in your email marketing. Then you have a purpose. Again, I'm showing you this because I just want to keep showing you and showing you and showing you that in digital marketing, it's so beautiful because that's the only thing you need to do. You know, yesterday I was, um, I was posting, right. Digital marketing is only one skill set that can make so much money. And a lot of people PM me, you know. And they PM me and they say, hey, what's the digital marketing skill set? Uh? Can you teach me? Uh? And a lot of people ask the same question. You know what's my answer to them? And it's the same answer, the same thing. My same answer to them in my post yeah, is this. The only skill that I learned to master in my life, it is to generate targeted leads to my offer. That's it. That's one skill set that I have to generate targeted leads to my offer. The skill set, email marketing, SEO, whatever, is all the same thing to nurture people from one step to the next step to buy from me, from after buy from me to advocate. So I summarize my whole fundamental of marketing in three. Sorry, my left hand a bit out. In three, awareness, conversion, advocacy. Email can do all three. Make sense? Powerful tool, yeah? So again, segmentation, you want to sell, sell. Uh. Today special only, today offer only, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead, sell. You know what? Please, when you do this kind of offer, do not repeat after one week. I've seen a lot of people on the internet. I don't want to mention names, but they will say, today, last time offer, I will not teach this anymore. Today you buy from me, 200 ringgit. I will not teach this anymore. I will not sell this anymore. I will not do anything tomorrow. Three days later, actually backed by popular demand, I don't want to sell one. I really don't want to sell one. But because of popular demand, I'm back. They sell again. And then after that, you don't buy from me today. You don't buy from me today. Tomorrow my price goes back to 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. After three more days, come back. Actually, leh, I don't want to come back one. But you are forced me to come back. Ayo. <laughs> I, I, that is no integrity already. When you say like that, uh, one time you can fool me. Two time also you can fool me. Third time, uh, do you think the fellow will be trusting? Uh? You say yeah, 200 today, tomorrow I come back also 200. La. One week later I come back also 200. La. One month later I come back also 200. La. I buy later from you. Lo. You understand or not? So, end of the day, uh, you must also can do this strategy. It works very well, but make sure you have integrity in your email. Because especially even you can read one, you know, you can compilation, uh, so the people remember one. Yeah? Be careful of all these things. If you say today only, make sure it's today only. Yeah? Be careful. Yeah? Um, hmm? Call to action. Are you losing employee? Give a solution. HR management. Uh, have you picked up the benefit yet? So add value. I got a very good, um, what do you call this? Um, Company secretary. You know the company secretary? Beautiful. I, I love her to death. Yeah? I mean, I don't love her to death, but I love how she do business. You know, company secretary, like, you know what most companies do when I got a few companies last time? They like to just, every year, oh, Charles, uh, my accounting fee, uh, uh, 600 ringgit, now bill you. I mean, I'll pay, but it's like, you only come back to me once in a year when you want money. 
it's like a, I feel like a prostitute lah. You understand? Can I use the word prostitute if you don't mind, right? You 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 want money from me, then you come. So I, I'm the I'm the prostitute. You understand? Not? Hey, no 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 no. I'm the customer. I'm, 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 okay, it's a bad example. I'm so sorry. Let's let's not talk about prostitution. This is just a bad example. It's like a shoe lah, a shoe. I just use a shoe. Only when you want to use me, you come to me. You understand? When you want money, then you, it's not. I mean, I'll pay because I know you have done your service. But it's not just a nice feeling. But what? Current, the current secretary, yeah. Uh, every government initiative, businesses. Hey Charles, have you heard about this? Wow, I feel good when I read her email. And then, hey Charles, do you know there's a free hunting loan? Oh, hey, do you know that you better do this before this month? Wow, I do this, do this, do this. You know what happens to me? I uh, say, hey, you got all these things, sir. Uh, um, can you do this for me some more? Wow, PRO also give. Wow, accounting also give. Wow, you know, secretary got so many services. Right? Accountant also give. Tax also give. Now everything I give. And continue. You know why? Even though it's an email, even though I know it's an automated, even though I know it is all scripted, and she doesn't even lift a finger to send this personalized to me, I know because I'm a digital marketer myself. I know, but how will I feel as a customer? Eh? Good, isn't it? So why not you structure? Why not you learn how to straight up one email for the whole year, different different segmentation, spend one month doing it, but after that finish lah. So people will feel that it's very personalized, and it is very customized to me. And next time when people ask me money, it's very easy. It's very nice to have that feeling. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, do anything. Yeah, in a webinar today when you registered, if you are not my customer, if you are not my customer, uh, today all of you are my customer, right? Only one or two my friends. It's okay. I don't treat you as my customer. If let's say all of you are my customer today, you don't have the follow up email. But if let's say I want to market to you, I want to sell to you, I will start my nurturing campaign. You understand? So registration, registration, follow up, things like that. So you think and see, hey, I also bought from him like that. Oh, correct. Oh, he also treat me like that. Correct. Oh. So now you are learning from the business sides. You understand? Because you also buy like that one, lah. How how you how you think you bought from me, lah? You think I. What you think? What I did to you? You think I took a knife to your throat and said, if you don't sign up today, ah, eh, I will kill you. I will, I will, you know, I don't do that, correct or not? It is um, nurturing. It is whether you know it or not. Now I'm telling you. You understand what I'm saying? Now I'm telling you, yeah. Okay. Anyway, re-engagement. Ah, this one also can one. Some people ah, uh, um, they register for a program, but after that they are too busy, inactive. So you have to remind them. You also need to understand that. People also will lose interest in you one. Uh, go back to relationship, ah. Eh? Let's say your girlfriend, or boyfriend, lah. Remember, not if you do not give your attention to your girlfriend, and then another guy comes in. How many of you all got breakup one? Lah. I guarantee all got breakup one. Lah. The question is, how many times did another guy took your girlfriend away? Like, right? come, or how many times if you're a girl, lah? How many times you dump your bro bro for another boyfriend? Come, answer me. How many times before? Last time, when you got girlfriend last time, when you got relationship last time, long time ago lah. Eh? How many times did you dump your boyfriend? And how many times as a guy you got dumped? Speak from experience, please. Come, how many times? <laughs> One time. Ah, oh, you all lah. Uh, still single. <laughs> One time, infinity, that many times, no experience. All those new experience, why you're still virgin, isn't it? Yes, yes, I know you're virgin. You're married but still virgin. Eh? I know, I understand, I understand. Uh, man is, wow, man is, you ten times dumb guys. Uh, wow, you very bad, uh, you. Okay, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Chris never been heartbroken. Wow. Ladies, man, uh, you are the one who do dumping, is it? Okay, I understand. <laughs> so the same thing. Yeah, the same thing here. In your email list also, other competitor will try to grab your customer, and it's even worse. Other competitor will also want your customer. Other competitor will also add so much value to them, and slowly and by slowly, they might not be interested in you anymore. Do you understand? What I'm trying to say, so your email list is always dying. So what you need is we call the reactivation thing. And and it stated there, uh, how spot there, uh, twenty two point five percent naturally degrade. 
naturally degrade one. Same thing lah. Huh? Um, if your husband don't care about you or don't give you enough attention or your boyfriend or you know, uh, today is all about relationship, but but it's email marketing ah. Huh? The same thing lah. Huh? You also feel neglected, yeah. Ah, uh, so same thing with business. Same thing with email. So most of us also change email every six months. True, I also do that. Every six months, too many nonsense. I dump it away. True, and thirty of percent of us will change email annually. Our main email. Why? We change job. Our domain expired. Died. Doesn't matter. Uh, our Gmail full. We just register a new one. Can be done. There's so many factors, and thirty percent of people will change email manually. So this is called a decay rate. Yeah. So when decay rate comes in, uh, and unengaged. Ah, uh, today, ah, uh, technology very good. Ah. Uh, If you don't build relationship with people and you just you know spam people or you just market to people, it will probably go under the spam box. Or in in Gmail, we have the promotional tab. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be in the inbox tab, but not the promotional tab, because people don't actually read the promotional tab. Yeah. So this is something that you need to know also. So why do subscriber don't like you? Unengage, because sometimes too frequent. Also, they don't like you. Can you imagine? Last time, can ah? Can you imagine now your your boyfriend or your girlfriend call you every single minute? Darling, I love you. Darling, I love you. Darling, why are you eating? Darling, why are you thinking? Why you never think of me? Can you imagine the kind of frequency? Same thing. So if you ask me what is the correct frequency, I don't know. I I I would just admit I don't know because it's all about certain guys every minute like. Certain guys like me, I don't like. You call me every minute, I get fed up. Certain people, one hour, uh, one month, one, I'm also okay. So it depends on your customer. What's the email frequency? Same birds of the same feather flock together. So once you get to understand a person, lah, oh, then you 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 understand. So you 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 must always engage, yeah. Boring, repetitive content, the same thing again and again and again and again. Irrelevant, outdated things, yeah. Uh, too many emails. Uh, some people only want freebies, so they they get their one, they go away. Can you think they really care about you? No, some people just want and go. Uh, some change, some abandon, some go to your competitor. Everything, yeah, so, everything. So um, <laughs> look at this guy, amazing. Why after got baby, after married got baby? Why are you ignoring me? Speak to my hand. Have you have you have you done that to people? When people talking to you, speak to my hand. You know what does that mean? Speak to my hand. That means I'm ignoring you, lah. You know, just you know, talk to my hand. And in email, it's easy because you just unsubscribe. You know, so what can you do? Yeah. So what you can do is you do reengagement. So reengagement means you do like this, lah. I also have a teach you how to reengage. Yeah. Hey, is everything okay? Did I do something wrong? You know, like relationship. Yeah. The first thing girl don't talk to you. What we do? Uh, is everything okay? Uh, of course, your customer can respond to you because it's his business, ah. Huh? But um, you understand, right? Okay. What you can do is this your email. Uh, um, hey, do you need help? You say the first thing there is your name, so you customize, yeah. Hey, uh, John. Hey, Adam. Uh, are you stuck? Uh, are you struggling to register for my webinar? John, are you suffering? Um, do you struggle? Uh, John, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, and then you can say, uh, "Can you help me, please?" Okay, this is very powerful, eh? Can you help me? It's a very powerful statement. I'm going to spend. Wow, well, I've only ten more minutes. I'm going to spend thirty seconds talking about this. You see, traditionally, emotionally, psychologically, everybody loves to help people. So when you say something like, "Can you help me?" People will feel good if they can help people. It's it's in inside us. It's in built inside us. It's our DNA that we want to help people. So this is a very powerful technique that I use to to re-engage people. And even though the final thing, ah, uh, I will say, hey, can you help me, please? Is it okay if I ask you to do this for me? By can you just come and subscribe to or re-engage or blah blah blah? So if they still ignore me or still doesn't reply me, then what you do next? Bye bye. Or you can. Since you're not interested, should I delete you from my email list? Can. So my my staff um always ask, "Wow, Charles, so serious, man? Ask like that, lah. Ask so. Straight to the point, man. 
you are not interested, should I delete you from my list? Why people not interested, you want to like, you know, like, like beg for people's attention eh? So people say, no, I still want to listen to you, but I'm keeping quiet. Okay, fine. Then I know. Uh, is this goodbye? Up to you. So am I still welcome? Up to you, your style. So I have a mix of style depending on my segmentation. Because some people, uh, when you say, uh, okay, I'm going to leave you, uh, bye-bye. Uh, uh, they will go, hey, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. I just, merajo, yeah. I just, you know, but of course in email, they don't merajo. Uh, merajo is what in English? Um, uh, what is merajo in English, please? I'm going to look at the chat room. Small gas, salt, pout, pout. Mm, yes, pout, yeah. In relationship, they do like that. Sometimes you ask, sometimes people, of course, in email, they don't pout, pout or they don't merajo, they don't sulk. It's they just too busy to reply, you can. So sometimes you say like that, they will engage back to you. And then you know, oh, this person is still interested, but they're keeping quiet. Can, yeah, can. So do that. And after everything you try, it doesn't work, stop email that. Right? If you try your best to get a girl or a customer or a business and they're not interested, then just stop. Lah. It's simple. Lah. So all these things, yeah, um, copywriting is something that you must master. Yeah? And how do I master this? All these things, lah, I can tell you it's important, but I'm going to tell you the most important hack here. Okay, this one I go very fast because I want to show you the way. Yeah? This, is not, this is important, but let me just show you what I do. Uh, let me just shop my share first. Eh? I open up my Gmail and I tell you exactly, exactly what I do. And I'll show you this. And you'll be shocked and surprised that, wow, you do this, Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a minute. Eh? Let me just set this up for you. Because the best copywriting is to learn what you like and what you don't like and you can do this immediately so i'll show you all this you can take it i might spend a little bit longer like probably the next half an hour 20 to half an hour now it doesn't matter if you have to go go because i know it's 19 minutes but i've been telling you too much stories i didn't cover enough but i don't want to rush yeah so i'll probably leave it another half an hour i want to show you i'm going to share my screen now Hold on, yeah. let me just make sure everything is good. Okay, can you see my screen? So this is what I call my throw away email. I have one, yeah. And what I do is every single thing that I like that is similar to my business, I subscribe. So when I subscribe, I see how they do the copywriting. And when I see the copywriting and I feel like clicking, I have a list of uh, good copywriting uh, database. I take and I put there. Then I read. So like for example, one glance here, I read what's interesting, some question, some text, some cheat me, different style, different strategy, just the best way. And I have, uh, can you see my screen? I have uh, 72,259 emails that is in my inbox. Do you see that? Cool, right? Yeah? So that's what I do. And I do, and I just show you what is good copywriting. Eh? So what is good for you is good for me. It's same as mine. Because birds are the same feather flock together. You understand? So if your customer lists are already that kind of person, that kind of persona, then you just follow. Lah. So let's say, for example, you take this. Yeah? Is this what you're looking for? Hmm, I don't know what I'm looking for, so I click. So when I click, then it says, blah, 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 blah. So I continue. Lah. So if I like this, I put it in my database. If I don't like this, I move on. And then the fellow follow up with me. Nah. Follow up, he show me results. So if everybody have done it, oh, is that last 14, 14 hours, is it? Last done it, I read. So I keep. So sometimes I do buy. Uh, for certain people in here, I like, you know, a lot of people I like. So when I like, I read and I buy from them. It works very, very well. So this is what you should do. So spam email, subscribe email, have one throwaway email, and then you follow. You, you see whatever you like. So the best way is don't, how do I say? You make it yours, you make it your style, but you get the ideas from a lot of people. Does it make sense? You learn from a lot of people. 
subscribe to the same customers subscribe to the same businesses that is sharing your same businesses follow them in malaysia you rarely see this i agree so you follow american people in the same business that you are targeting you understand eh? follow because in america is the nurturing is quite wonderful yeah so who cares first one ask yourself this question uh why now so you're right why now why is it important for you to take action now who cares why should you care what is happening what's in the market and then why should they care uh can i help you can i bring you to the next level can i help you from point a to point b whatever is it can you imagine life without this can you imagine life without that so sometimes by just asking you don't need to be a copywriter per se like a book writer you understand you don't have to think learn the framework learn the structure follow because structure cannot run away one it's always the same how you write that one can run away but the structure is always the same so ask yourself these questions and put how can you prove it so if i want to sell you something can you prove it so can you have testimonials can you have uh, case studies can you have like new stories can you show me success stories yeah there's a lot of ways to prove and always remember that people buy human psychology yeah? again for reasons what's the for personal gain i buy because i want it i like it it can help me logic or oh, i research i think you can shorten my path i invest 2000 ringgit instead of learning 3 days 3 years 4 years i learn from you 3 months 6 months good i invest in you i understand logic research social proof this one i don't like i don't really like to show off this one in my in my in my this one i do show but i don't like to force this on people social proof or third party influencers i don't like yeah i tell you what you can learn what's going to objective what you can achieve after that that's what i like in my business but if your business there's nothing wrong eh? if you want to show social proof if you want to see that how people after use your shampoo got a lot of hair like me or good looking like me after use your 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 makeup or what go ahead so that is if you like it go ahead and of course the fourth one um can use is very powerful but don't abuse it you understand or not don't say like today if you don't sign up tomorrow the price goes up today i'm not a prime minister tomorrow the petrol price goes down okay anyway <laughs> where am i going so far huh? come back come back huh? come back come back come back so promise be careful because when you say something and you cannot deliver very difficult all right so step one desire the end results uh what can i do how can i help you acknowledge all these are frameworks huh, in your email yeah so it's very powerful why not let's say i want to sell to you uh i use a name huh? charles you are struggling in email marketing by end of the day can i teach you on the first day that you understand the mindset the framework of email marketing uh, so today you do not nurture your customer leads you do not have you have a big database and you don't know what to do with it wow how you know how you know of course i know lah you just write an email so when people read that people wow how you know how you know and then after that what you do points of beliefs do you know that collecting database is quite useless it's not about a matter of your size of your database do you think it's important oh yeah 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 i never thought like that ah, so you list all this down so when you engage people in the email people feel good Wow, you got a system, you got a framework. You understand or not? Do you see how I do things in my email? Every time a framework one, it's not simply just you know. After that, I Charles, are you struggling or not? When you write email, you got don't know what to write. Hey, how you know? Huh? You so smart, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I do research. And when you write emails, nobody open your email one. Correct or not? Wow, oh, now Charles, you so smart. Huh? So you see, when you write email, people read. That is the thing that I want to teach you. How you do it? Ah, uh, then after that, ask some more. Establish a timeline. If you want, go ahead. If you don't take action to learn this today, or if you want to do sales for three hundred ringgit to solve a problem that you have for years and years, and the possibility to generate thirty to three hundred thousand ringgit, what is three hundred ringgit? Wow, I want to buy from you, Charles. You are very smart. I like it. So that's how you do things. So that is how whatever that you want to do, you can following a structure of sequence of email for you there to take action. But the first thing you need to know is subject lines. Again, this I show you in my database. 
If I like that email, I put that in my database. If I like the email, I put it. So now I have a series of emails that I like, a series of email that people like, a series of email that I can track. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to track because you must always do testing, A-B testing. You know what I'm saying? A-B testing, any email system also must have fun. One message, two different topics, send out, pom pom. Sometimes three, send out, pom pom pom. A, B, C. So the first email, probably I'll say something like this. Let's say I want to sell my email marketing course. Size is not a matter. Come and learn the real strategies. I mean, keep it short. Uh, maybe I shorten by one. Size does not matter. Learn the correct way of doing email strategy. One subject set out. Subject number two. You have a list of database, but you don't know what to do. Why not email marketing? B set out. So C set out. You understand what I'm trying to say? Then you decide. A open more, B open more, or C open more. In any platform, also can do this one. Any email platform also can do this one. Tomorrow I'll show you this. Is it okay? Can okay, huh? Write it down. So tomorrow when the beautiful lady come and ask you, do you, yeah, you ask lah, huh? Oops, sorry. Okay. So here we go. Curiosity, benefit, content writing. This one you can get from Google. This one are styles of copywriting. Uh, you go to Google, yeah, you go to Google, you type in top 100, top 1000 email open subject, something like that. You will get unlimited, I'll show you. Huh? Just go to Google. This one, no need for me to give you. Like, this one, like, I'll just show to you. Huh? Scarcity, like, you know, all these, all these things. Yeah, you go to Google. Okay, so you ask Google, Google, can you give me the top... 100 uh, email um, subject lines. Uh, there, see? Everything else Google are updated. Oh, your digital marketer updated. Uh, see, you can use uh, Optin Monster, uh, HubSpot. I like HubSpot. I like digital marketer. I like all this. Uh, Sleek Note, 115, 9, 31, 80. So each one you get 180. So suddenly you got a list of 300 emails. Wow, good for you. All right, no? So that one, same thing. La. You just go, you get everything. I also copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Yeah. All this. And of course, I got my, my email list on. Huh? You remember my email? I'll show you. My email list, that the best one is also this one. Nah, nah, this one. I cannot show you my business account email. I can show you this. See, so many, nah, so many, so many, so many. So, you know, so many things. Uh, you can just like crazy. So, that's how you do things. Always research. Always test. Always do a lot of things. Okay. Come on. So, break it down. Sorry, I I mute. Uh, break it to four paragraph, three paragraph. How long do you think? No one, no one can say. So if people don't know you, again, if people don't know you, keep it short to the point, lah. If people know you already, make sure it's long, long, lah. You know why long, long? Because people know you, uh, want to read more because people think you're smart already. If people think you're smart already, the more you write, the more people think you're smart. Starting, short, short, medium, just totally long, long. Depends, yeah? Depends on your segmentation again. All right. So, how we go? So, you can do. Curiosity, direct benefit, scarcity, proof of results, same thing. Break it down, yeah? So, for example, intro now. This one, digital marketer again. I took it from them. Curiosity, proof of credibility. Can I help you? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah? And then, scarcity, if you need one dollar, so all in one email, also can one. So end of the day, end of the day, it's what you're doing. So you can take a lot of all these things, read how they do. But end of the day, must, must have a call of action. If not, difficult or huh? difficult. Even if in the beginning you want to read people, by end of this uh, email, this is what I'm going to promise you. Do end of this video, you must. So have to craft a clear of action, yeah? Um, Give you more things, yeah. Uh, click here to find out. These are these are this. Ask question. Uh, you know this is done a lot in uh, social media. You know they like to ask like that one. Thirteen percent of the human population only can answer this. You know what happens to you? Listen, eh? Thirteen percent. Nine out of ten people fail this test. Only one percent of people can do this. Only 10 out of 10 million people got this 
what will you do left when you see all these things? You automatically, you want to be in the minority. Do you know that? Automatically, one. when I use this statement, automatically, one, you click, you check whether you are the minority because people don't like to be common. Listen, eh? people don't like to be common. They like to think they are unique like everybody else. Do you see the oxymoron there? People do not like to think they are common. People like to think they are unique, just like everybody else. So psychology, you know, wow. Then you use this against them. You understand or not? So that is what people do. And it's very powerful, but don't manipulate. You learn that in my content psychology. Don't manipulate people. Be sincere, have integrity. What's a, what's a, what's a, powerful, what's a powerful statement? My teaching of content marketing, you combine the teaching of email marketing, you combine together, they become Power Rangers. Understand, ma? Uh -huh. You know Power Rangers, right? If you don't understand, it's okay. You're not my friend anymore. So, up to you, so many strategies, you know. You, you decide. Yeah? I don't have to teach you this because you'll be bombarded by millions of emails. You, you just go to your email, you see all these strategies, compile them together, yeah? All right. Um, email marketing, grab attention. I really need to go faster a little bit. Nine tricks, timing. What's the timing? You decide, call them my name, must. You must know people by name. Let me give you a general rule. If people don't know your name, don't put dear, don't. Uh, must remember name, huh? it's important. And what time you want to do? Tracking, tomorrow I'll teach you how to do tracking. Be provocative, provocative, not proactive, sorry. Be provocative, be controversial, or be relevant. Up to you, your style. Yeah, up to you, your style. Because it's okay to have different, different styles. Different people are attracted to different things. Some girls like strong guys. Some girls like guys in leather jacket that slaps them around a little bit, not a lot. Some guys, some girls like guys who pamper them. Some girls like guys who pay for them. There's no such thing as one girl, one guy. I know, different, different, yeah? Use uh, all specific numbers, like what I just teach you just now. Yeah, keep it short, definitely, definitely. So all these are uh, tips for you to, to, you know, ask yourself, why you open emails, right? Besides DMC, la, not DMC, other emails, la, why you open it? Sure got reason one, isn't it? Nah. Sure got reason one, sure. So you compile, la, you compile. So this is what I do, compile, compile all the time, yeah? Add symbols, go ahead. Uh, again, symbols I like, uh, show you my email again. I know it's a bit torn, but I'll just show you, uh, I need to rush, yeah? Almost, almost finishing already. So you see my emails here? See some are symbols, isn't it? Some put Japanese, isn't it? Some got a cute emoticons, isn't it? So up to you. Now see some got the, let me show you a warning sign, isn't it? Up to you. You can do it. And my email is this, uh, what, this line. Yeah. And then let's up some more. So different people, I mean, the emails got different, different symbols. One. Sometimes you see, I uh, got bell. Uh, saw that the bell? Yeah, you saw the bell? So you got a lot of things. So, so is it? Professional, non-professional. If people open and click your email, why do you care, right? Whether you're professional or non-professional. The idea is to get the clicks, correct or not? But don't go and put flower, flower, emoji, you know. Uh, put middle finger, that one all. Charles, then you say, Charles teach what? Charles teach, go and put middle finger in the emoji. Be controversial, Charles say. And then you go, you F you, F you. I mean, you understand the content and the context, right? You all be careful when you all do things, I mean, of course you all know lah, huh? Oh, yo, yo. They took a room. Simply say Charles Tissue nonsense, yo. <laughs> Alright, so, symbols, um, photo, must have photo. Definitely in your email, must have a photo. If you don't have a photo, at least lah, have your logo. Uh, please, this is the basic thing, yeah? logo and email, in your email, yeah? your things. Get them to click, put a link, put a video, whatever is it. Make sure they click, yeah, um, register, up to you. Click here, click there. You want them to sign up here, sign up there. Visit your Facebook, visit this, make sure, everything. And all this uh, can track, uh, by the way, uh, can track. 
So tomorrow, write it down again. Tomorrow ask how to check open rate, how to check uh, people who click, uh, how to check people who can't be bothered, how to check people who unsubscribe. All this you ask tomorrow, I will teach you live. Definitely, I will teach you live, yeah? So all these things, yeah? Track your results because if you don't track your results, uh, tomorrow also, uh, Charles, how do I track my results? You teach me yesterday, must track this and how? I teach you, no? so must track. What do we track? Three things only. Three things, yeah? Let me just show you to you whether we have or not. Um, how many people open? Very important. How many people open? So you track what time they open, where they open from, what platform, whether they use email, whether they use desktop. So be careful all these things, yeah? Number two, if you ask them to click in your email, do they take action to click or not? Also must, these are two important things, must double check. If people buy for sales or not, must double check. Third one, not so important, but so important, huh? not so important only. How many people unsubscribe? Wow, suddenly you send an email out. For example, huh? this is just for discussion. Charles support Pakatan A. Pakatan A. Voila, you send that support. All the ones who don't support Pakatan A because you send a statement like that, unsubscribe you. Pop, 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 pop. Gone, no. So, gone, nah. So, you need to understand this. And of course, I don't think I could have before. I don't know, but I don't think I could have before. But people actually complain for spamming. As I know, I don't spam. I don't, I never spam actually. I only call it leads, I follow up. But if you do that, people complain, ah, this one is not in the syllabus, but I tell you, because I want to add value to you. If people complain your email, most of the email provider will freeze your email. And if you got probably about five, three to five, I think five, ah, more complaints in one blast, your email will get suspended. Listen, ah, your emails will get suspended. And if you do this two to three times continuously, your IP, your domain will get blacklisted. Meaning when you set up a domain from let's say DMC training or whatever, Google, Gmail, all will not accept anymore. Blacklisted already, gone. So how are, huh? why some people send me email, go to spam box. Why some people send me email, cannot. Why do uh, all this, I'm not teaching you, it's not covered in the syllabus, but you put it in a note, you Google it, you can get the answer one. Is it okay to you? Because, or you ask tomorrow lah, hmm? how to prevent this. Hopefully, it's not a syllabus, hopefully she'll answer you. Yeah, so this is things that is a little bit more advanced, but be careful, yeah, all these things, this is very important. Okay, so look back, check the performance, um, have um, high expectation. When I send out email, I want 99% open. I want 80% open, I want 50% open. You know, some people say email marketing, if you get 2%, 3% open, is good enough. I think that's very bullshit. You know why? Because those people, they buy leads and they sell. Uh, they spam people. You don't, how do I say this? You don't want to do business like that. Lah. You want to do business, nurture them long term. Don't go and buy people's leads and then spam to people to death. Spam, 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 hoping that because you spam me and then one time, it's like, you want to get married and nobody want to marry you? You go to all the bar and say, you want to marry me? You want to marry me? I know, I know the numbers game. Out of 10,000 girls, maybe one girl will say that, okay lah, I will marry you and you marry. Can one, but do you understand or not? Yeah, you don't want to do business like that, yeah? So all this tomorrow, we will show you in the system, yeah? Live somewhere for you to learn, all right? So all this, ask for tomorrow, we'll show you the real thing, yeah? I share about print screen one for you. All this got print screen. Oh, before I go into that, last one. Nah, last bonus. Just to appreciate you. Another, uh, what do you call this? Uh, worksheet on customer's uh, welcome sequence. So remember this time I talk about the sequence. Uh, today, if you're hardworking, uh, you fill up the thing. Tomorrow, you learn how to put that in the sequence in the email so that at least in this two days masterclass, you get a proper welcome email sequence. First email, boom, two days. Ah, sorry, first email, boom, immediately. After the second email, boom, two days. The third email, boom, another three days. All in sequence. Tomorrow I'll teach you this live 
definitely, definitely. But today you fill up lah. Today is theory, man. All right. So that's it from my side. Um, since it is already four fifty, uh, why not just spend ten minutes for Q and A? I've ended. If you want to stay for Q and A, go ahead. If there's none, I also end immediately already. So tomorrow, same time. Do not uh, how do I say? Do not miss tomorrow because tomorrow the bonus. I tell you the bonus now, lah, huh? so that you get more excited. Tomorrow I will give you this. Uh, tomorrow a representative from Engine Mailer will come. I'll show you this. Huh? It's a local company, so they are they are working with us, and they said this, and because they said something like this, I want to give to you. Yeah. Okay, so they say this. So the pricing and they say this. Uh, here they give you ten thousand emails. Yeah, but they said for free they only limit you to five hundred a day. So you can only send to five hundred people a day. You understand, right? Tomorrow I will give you a code. This limitation remove. That means there's no limitation. You only pay. You only got limitation. Yeah. But tomorrow when you come, you get it completely free, and the representative will come in, so she will share with you, and you can ask all the things that I talked today. She will definitely have it in the system also, and she'll show you how to do it um, live. Okay, so that is tomorrow. Is there any questions? Um, I I did this asking. I have a question asking opinion. If you have a potential project, install POC. But after some time, they did not say anything to confirm the purchase. Uh, Adib, if you're still here, I'm not sure because I'm not checking the list here. Yeah? If you're still here, can you? Oh yeah, here. Can you refine your question? I don't understand. First of all, what is POC? And after some time, they did not say anything to confirm the purchase. Say anything to confirm the purchase. What should we do? I think you're asking a business statement. Is it? Okay, if me, this is what I'll do in my business. If people ask me for quotation, I'll follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up uh, by emails, obviously by emails because it's not rude. I mean, to me, it's quite rude um, to call email because it sounds very desperate. But in automation, it's quite easy. I send out email and I send things out. And after seven times, and then I'll say that um, thank you for your interest. But I feel that uh, if I can add more value to you, this is the final time I want to follow up with you. If not, it's okay. Because it's a business. I don't want to keep following up if they're not interested. But if they say that um, I need more time, oh, then I got another list. Poop, I send them to another segment. Tada, prrr, I put up there. So from here, another list goes up. So is that okay that I have confirmation from you? So pop up all on automation. So they don't reply, good. If they reply, good. If they don't reply, another email comes. Um, I'm sorry that you did not reply to that. Probably because of your uh, you are so busy and um, you don't have time for this, I'm going to send this out for a reminder. You are keen, let's refresh our step. You are keen, you are interested, you ask me to follow up, I am. Let's take the next action. These are the dates. Blah, blah, blah. Boom, automation again. They fill up, good. I remove them from this list. They don't fill up, also another email goes in. Um, um, this is just a recap. Blah, blah, blah. You wanted this, this is what I'm doing. Why don't you tell me since you cannot make a decision? Business to business talk must be direct. Huh? Uh, so after that, not interested, pop another email goes up, or I'll say that I put this email, go back to my nurturing. So nurturing list means I nurture them again. So it's a, it's a cycle. So you, you, you tend to know where list you put them. So there's a very powerful sequence in email that, of course, um, if you understand the whole thing that I'm teaching today, you can really segment, nurture them, add value to them in different segments, but it's all automated. I do not have to uh, do anything after I set up things properly. I just need to move them to list to different list. Tomorrow, you ask that in the segment thing. Write it down. So tomorrow, we're going to ask this. So you learn how to do this tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so let me just type a chat. Uh, can I see the QR code again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, too fast. Nah, take. Okay. Um, Thanks. Welcome. We have good leads from Facebook. Do you have a Facebook related program to conduct? I would like to learn in depth to fully utilize. Um, this is um, 
penerangan you're asking this right um i don't want to respond to you we do have facebook but i know you're a student maybe you want to ask a question more specific in the chat room i mean in the support ticket i'll see you tonight right so we talk about it tonight okay uh sarah will this session be recorded yeah it's recorded and we'll put it inside the what do you call that um internet academy ah some of you don't know this yeah let me just show this to you this one i've not promoted that much but i want to show you another skin pick ah. so as a dmc member and also freedom submit member for those who are in freedom submit you will soon be able to access this yeah and we will put all the recorded video remember this now i talk about the speakers i talk about all the international yeah uh, all of them will be here so this is something that in the future very near future you will see all this so we put it inside here we give you a link so you can watch this yeah so if you want to watch any of these just sign up uh, most of it is paid but i put one for free uh, the middle one is free so these are strategies uh, if you haven't seen this take it it's for you it's a five days course that i did each about two hours or so you can learn about all this yeah and you just register come take it it's free no upsell no nothing just add value to you and all this is for you hmm? take it uh what else do i want uh, any other questions i will read the q a and yeah? it's more official yeah so Karin is asking, is it a good strategy to help those are subscribed or those who do not take action? Uh, no, Karin, for those who are subscribe you or are subscribed, uh, then ignore them. It is okay. Because at the end of the day, we cannot please the whole wide world. I rather focus my energy on pleasing people who wants to be pleased, not the whole wide world. Thank you very much. Rachel? Um, do you think that WhatsApp marketing is more effective than email marketing? Rachel, let me throw another question to you. Why choose when you can use both? Ta-da! Why choose when you use both? You see how DMC use uh, WhatsApp marketing? We do. Do you see DMC use email marketing? We do. So, do you think that uh, more effective? Mm, no. Is it both effective? Yes. So, if both effective, why choose that? Use both. Yeah. Of course. Of course, if let's say you don't have the resources or you only want to choose for one and only want to get started, maybe in the beginning, then I will say if I, uh, me, uh, my business DMC, uh, email marketing still. Because WhatsApp, uh, too fast. Like now, I two hours, I don't check my phone and I don't really check other things that people go in, but I always check a certain group, correct or not, unless you can get the person into a group that they want to listen to you, but very hard, isn't it? You think about it. Very hard, isn't it? You have to, there's no automation on WhatsApp. Everybody that comes in, you have to cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. So, actually it takes more resources, yeah? I will, I will do email marketing, definitely. All right, any other questions? Two more minutes and then I'll end. Nalira told me, Charles, impossible. So many slides within 19 minutes. Then I said 30 seconds one, but I still fail. But I am, yeah, I do appreciate some of you left in the beginning. I'm sorry, in the beginning, but uh, towards the 4 30, because you have work to do, I do understand. Uh, but it's all recorded, yeah. So if you're watching, I do apologize. It's my fault to put 3 o'clock to 4 30. Uh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so, but I don't want to rush. So this is recorded. Definitely, I will just share this again with you all. All right. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So thank you so much.